Hi. Good morning. Good How afternoon. Are you? My Good time. Afternoon. I'm, every day is my friend. I always mention his name, Bo from FitCare. Uh, physio, 1% better. <laughs> That's uh, yeah. fantastic. I feel pretty good. I do. I'm, I'm so pleased. And, and I know that the people listening to us can't see you, but you look fantastic. It looks lovely and sunny where you are. Richard, I cannot believe we've been sheltered for three months. Good God. A, how are you feeling? B, we're starting to emerge and I heard that you might be going back into the studio. So tell us about it. I need to go back. I have to go back. Um, it's not just for my own sanity, but there are clients, there are patients who need to be seen. Some post-op, some people who started with me and they, uh, they, they've, um, haven't kept up with their program or they weren't sure what to do, even though I have teletherapy. So often I have to put my hands on the patient. I need to see them move and I need to really uh, feel them move and feel what the tissue is doing. So um, antsy, I'm aching to go back to see my, uh, see my clients. Are you ready? Um, mentally or as far as the studio is, is well, that's do both. Like, what does it feel like for you? It sounds like as a healer, you're just hungry to get, to get back in there. Although you've done the telemedicine. So I'm also curious, you're not going to lose that, are you? I'll still have that as an option. It's, it was nice to have. It's just, as I was telling my wife, it's not my favorite because I am a healer. I am a manual therapist and there's, there are limitations, but it's nice to have. Yes. I just wouldn't rely on it 100%. So I'm hoping as I ease back into the studio, folks can even mix and match if they want to do some in studio and some teletherapy. They'll have that option. Yeah. So, so back to the question though, are you ready and how have you prepared yourself both mentally and emotionally to get back? Um, have you prepared your studio? How are you preparing your clients? I have a three-tiered approach. One, I'm going to make sure the, the studio is disinfected before, during, and after each client, which isn't really a problem because I only treat one-on-one -on -one anyways. So cross-contamination is really limited, but I'll be sure to be spraying doorknobs, treadmill uh, 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 displays. Uh, but I'll also make sure that uh, I'll have a screening process. So when the client arrives or even before have you been exposed to corona have you been around people who have had symptoms who have, have have been diagnosed have you had any symptoms have you been traveling over the last two to three months and once then once they present to me there at, at new revolution i'll have a faceless a touchless thermometer which is nice and also a pulse oximeter so i'll be able to see what their uh, their o2 saturation is which is a uh, they're both determinants of a higher, higher heart rate or higher temperature. Something may not be right with their vitals. So I'll say, listen, you know what? You may want to get checked out first before you come in here. And the third component on the tier is to uh, patient provider protection. I'll be wearing a face mask or um, a mask. I'll be wearing gloves and I'll expect the client for now, the patient right now to be wearing a mask. They don't have to be wearing gloves necessarily. If they want to, I'll have them there. Again, I'll be spraying everything down, but for me, hands and face for them's face. So that's the three tiered system of, because my primary role is always to protect the, the, the patient and the client. So disinfecting the studio before, during, after, screening the clients and also um, making sure uh, I'm protected and they're protected physically with some sort of barrier. And all this information will be on the Move Evolution FAQ page. And I also have a page dedicated just to the uh, coronavirus, what we're doing to uh, keep our clients and patients safe. Yeah, it's good to know, because I think everyone, so I'm, I, I'm curious as to what you're experiencing amongst your, your clients and your community. I know that here on the West Coast, we're itching to come out, but also still, most of us are still a little apprehensive. What are you saying to your clients that are nervous, but keen to see you? What's, what's your thought, what's your, what's your messaging? Um, I have to assure them, again, my primary role is to keep them safe. I let them know that I have been safe. I've been quarantined for <laughs> three months. Crazy. Um, <laughs> I, I, I got screened for the corona. Corona was uh, negative that when I first got screened a few weeks ago. 
I haven't had any symptoms. Not that, that doesn't really tell you 100% you're not, you know, um, uh, asymptomatic or you're not carrying. But um, and I let them know, you know, check the website, speak with me, um, and everything is. I'm doing everything I can to make sure they are safe and not picking anything up or cross contaminating. So education. And are you still encouraging if they're not feeling particularly comfortable to? Um, come out and see you in person in the studio to continue using your telemedicine? Most definitely. I want them to feel confident. I don't want to force anyone in or bring someone in kicking and screaming, you know, worrying if uh, is someone contagious to someone touch that door. And so I, you know, they can wait, they can definitely wait, but you know, if you're suffering post-op, uh, you need to be seen, just talk to me. Nothing. The conversation is always free. Yeah. Are you, um, you must be, you seem excited. To get I, am, I, am, I am. I am. I am. I'm trying to control my uh, <laughs> my uh, ang uh, not even anxiety, just the uh, my anxiousness of getting back in and seeing people face to face. This, um, I am. I miss my studio. I go there once a week just to feel the energy, touch the walls, touch the uh, the equipment, and sometimes I get some work done there just to imbibe some of that energy. But I yeah, know. Look I, at your grin. Your whole your whole face. <laughs> Um, I still love being a physical therapist. I love I, I love seeing people get better, and I love the interaction. I I learn from almost each and every one of my clients because they're very um eclectic, <laughs> like like you, very quirky. They're musicians, they're athletes, they're artists, and yeah, yeah. I I love my clients. I miss my clients, uh, patients. I miss moving with them. I miss seeing their faces. I miss the 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 face to face interaction. Pretty exciting. Um, thank you, Roddy. I needed this. Um. Peace.